In this video, I will explain what discrete logarithm is. The goal of exponentials is to calculate the product. In this example, we want to calculate 2 to the power of 3. The goal of logarithms is to calculate the exponent. In this example, log base 2 of 8, or you can look at it a different way. 8 is 2 to the power of x, and we are interested in exponent x. In discrete logarithm, you need to apply a modular operation in a letter, which means applying the modular operation in this equation, as you can see over here, calculating log base 2 of 8 modulo 13. There is another way of notation, is this way, where x is the exponent, 2 is the base, 13 is the modulus, and 8 is the remainder. If you find this confusing, you can also rewrite it this way. Take this equation and add the modulo operation. Example, to the power of x modulo 7 is 4. The question is, what is the x value? Well, the answer is x can be 2 or 5 if x is 1 till 6. 6 is because of the modulo 7 minus 1. Here's the proof. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 4 mod 7 is, of course, 4. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 4 times 7 is 28. And 32 minus 28 is 4. There are two solutions. In the world of cryptography, we are only interested in discrete logarithms, where each exponent has a distinct remainder. It seems that if the modulus p is a prime number, there are certain base values b, which generate distinct remainders for different exponents. By the way, a prime number is a number that is divisible only by itself and 1. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc. By choosing the correct base value, which generates distinct remainders for different exponents. So here's an example how to find such a base value. Let's calculate b to the power of x modulo 7, which calculates the remainder, whereby x will be a values between 1 and 6, and the modulus p is 7. Here are different base values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And here are different powers, b to the power of 1 mod 7, b to the power of 2 mod 7, b to the power of 3 mod 7, etc. If you take the base value of 1, these are the remainders. As you can see, these are not distinct. They are, they are all 1. But base value 3, it generates distinct values. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The same applies to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And all the others, 6, 4, 2, and 1, doesn't generate distinct remainders. The discrete logarithm for modulo 7 generates distinct remainders when using base value 3 or 5, and the remainders are in the range 1 till 6. The base values 3 and 5 in the previous example are called the primitive roots of 7, or generators, often indicated by symbol alpha. It is called generator because applying the multiplication operation on one single element, alpha to the power x, generates all elements in the distinct group. 1 till p minus 1. The word discrete in discrete logarithm refers to the aspect that we are working in a discrete group 1 till p minus 1 and not any real numbers, meaning fractions 2.58 for example. In this example, the discrete group is values 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. and not 1.5 or 1.8 or 2.5. Calculating 3 to the power of 11 mod 17 is very easy. But doing the opposite, calculating the discrete logarithm, 11 is 3 to the power of x mod 17, is very difficult. Especially if the modulus, in this case 17, is at least 300 digits long. So if this value is 300 digits long, the discrete logarithm is very hard to calculate. Remember, calculating a discrete logarithm is hard. To solve this equation, 11 is 3 to the power of x mod 17, a computer needs to try each exponent, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., until the equation matches. So here's an example. Alpha is 2, p is 11, and the discrete group is 1 till p minus 1. Here's the base, 2, the modulus 11, and we increase the exponent sequentially, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. If you calculate this equation, you will get these values. And then you will notice something. So here is 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The whole discrete group is covered. And if you calculate 2 to the power of 10 mod 11, the result is 1. And after this value, it repeats again. As you can see, 2, 2, 4, 4, 8, 8, 5, 5, 9, 7, 7, 3, 3, 6, 6. This is called a cyclic group of generator alpha. After a certain number of exponentiations and modulus operations, we have a loop. If the remainder has value 1, the cycle starts all over again in the same order. In the previous example, where the modulus is 11, the cyclic group is referred to with notation CP star. For example, P was 11, so you write down C11 star. Star means no zero. The discrete group is 1 till P minus 1. Because P is 11, the discrete group range will be between 1 and 10. The number of elements in the discrete group is P minus 1 is 10. Cyclic groups are the basis of discrete logarithm cryptosystems.